Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com. In this video, we're going to study volume, and I intend this lesson for about third or fourth grade. Volume means how much space something takes. You have a box, you have a TV, you have a bed, it takes some space. We measure it in cubic units, and that means cube shaped units, little cubes. And there are many different kinds of cubic units. And they are all based on our units of measurement for length. So you might have centimeters, millimeters, feet, inches, and for each one of those there is a cubic unit. For example, one cubic inch means that this little cube, it has one inch side, one inch side, and one inch side like that. One cubic centimeter means that this side here is one centimeter, this side is one centimeter, and this side is one centimeter. And similarly for one cubic foot, one foot here, one foot here, one foot here, and we get the cube out of that. Now, there are several ways to abbreviate the cubic units, and that's why children have difficulty sometimes. For example, one cubic inch, we have two ways to abbreviate it. One, in, and then little three here. Elevated three, it's an exponent we call it. Or one, cu, period, i, n, period. And similarly, for one cubic foot, we have two ways to abbreviate it. For metric units, there's only one way to abbreviate them, so that's a little easier. One, and then cm, and this elevated three. This three here, elevated three, comes from the fact that we, as if, multiply the centimeter three times by itself. See here, this is centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter. It's like centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. Centimeter multiplied by itself three times. That's where that three comes from. And children really need to use some manipulatives or some real blocks to understand some basic ideas about volume and cubic units. Like I said, children need to also play with blocks or unit cubes if you have them. Some kind of manipulatives to, to get the feel for volume and how it is, and how it is composed of cubic units. One type of exercise that school books always have is that children just need to count how many blocks are in some kind of setup, such as here or here. What is the volume of this thing? How many blocks are there? So we can see two here, two here, two at the top, and two behind here, a total of eight cubic units. Another thing children need to understand is the volume of a box or of a rectangular prism. And let's look at some examples here that I made. Basically, the idea here is that you can just, instead of counting the blocks one by one, you can just look how many are here on the bottom and then go that many times how many layers up it goes. There's two on the bottom and then two layers up in this one, so a total of four, right? Here we have two on the bottom and then we have one, two, three, four, five layers up. So five times two is ten blocks, ten cubic units in total. Or here, you can look at the bottom. And even the bottom you can find out by multiplying. You can find how many blocks there are by multiplying 2 times 3, right? And that is your width and your depth. Width times depth, 2 times 3 is 6. And then another layer of 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So, even if I add here more, you can still see the same principle. We can, uh, look, we can look at the bottom and go 2 times 3 to find how many blocks on the bottom layer and then that times three, the height, to get the total volume of this rectangular prism. Now, let's look at a few problems where we have a box, or a rectangular prism it's called, but in third or fourth grade you can call it a box. It's simpler. And we have to find its volume. As we already saw with the blocks, you can simply use multiplication to find the volume of a rectangular prism or a box. So, let's say I have this many blocks stacked together into a box-shaped thingy. I want to find its volume. I can use multiplication. I can check how wide it is. How many units wide is this? Okay, it is one, two, three, four. Four units wide. And how deep is it? It's just one unit deep. And how high is it? Two units high. And then I multiply four times one times two and get eight cubic units. 
cubic and units as its volume. Okay, and here I didn't have any measurement unit to use. I didn't say that these are centimeters or feet or inches, but I just used a generic term units. So that's why the length is just a unit and then the whole volume will be cubic units. But here, let's say that we are using centimeters as our basic unit. So here would be this wide, this width would be exactly two centimeters. And let me write it here. Width, two centimeters. And then depth. How deep is it this way? Two centimeters. And how high is it? Three centimeters. Height is three centimeters. And then we can get volume. This big V is volume. By multiplying, two times two times three which is 4 times 3, 12, 12 cubic centimeters. And like you saw with the blocks, you can also think of this multiplication this way. Think first of the bottom layer of this whole thing. In the bottom, there's two blocks times two blocks. There's just four blocks on the bottom, right? And then you think of how many layers high it is in blocks. There's actually three lever three layers or three levels, so we go four times three. The blocks on the bottom times how many layers you have. Four times three equals 12. So there's 12 cubes here, or the volume is 12 cubic centimeters. After children understand this idea, how to calculate the volume by multiplication, and how it consists of these individual little blocks, then they are ready for other word problems. Here's one. Find the volume of a box that is 20 cm wide, 10 cm deep, and 12 cm tall. This is exactly the same situation as I have here. We simply need to multiply those three numbers. So let's go 20 cm times 10 cm times 12 cm. And to multiply these three numbers where there's zeros here involved, you can first ignore the zeros and multiply 2 times 1 times 12, which is just 2 times 12, right? 24. And then you tag however many zeros you had here. 1 and 2. Tag the zeros there. That's like a little shortcut for multiplying by 10 or 20 or whatever. So 2400, and then our centimeter got multiplied by itself 3 times, so we get the cubic centimeters here. You know, centimeter cubed like that. Here's another word problem, but this time we are not asked the volume, because we already know the volume. The volume is given here, and it is asking how deep is this box? It is 2 cm high, 3 cm wide. How deep is it? And this time we need to think of multiplication again, but this way. 2 times 3 times this number is 18, right? Let me write here 2 cm times 3 centimeters, times the depth that we don't know, that has to equal 80 cubic centimeters. So simply 2 times 3 is 6, and so 6 times what is 18? The answer is 3 centimeters. Okay, so it's an easy problem in that sense, but children need to know this, that it is not asking for the volume. You do not multiply 18 times 2 times 3, but you think in reverse, so to speak. This is a similar one, similar problem. Again, we are given the volume. We are not being asked what the volume is. So we cannot go multiplying 27 times 27 times 27. And it is a cube. Now that means that the width and the depth and the height are equal. It's going to be the same number. Whatever number is here, that number times itself, times itself, gives us 27. And here, children can use guess and check. Okay, you know, 1 times 1 times 1 won't work, right? 2 times 2 times 2 won't work either. But 3 times 3 times 3 will work. We will get 3 inches times 3 inches times 3 inches equals 27 cubic inches. So this here is 3 inches. And lastly, a problem that again is not asking for the volume. It is a little different from these two, again, because it does not give us the width, the height, the depth. It doesn't give us those numbers. It's asking for the height, 
what should the height be of this room? And it's not giving us the width or anything else, it's giving us the area. So, how do we go about that now? To find the volume, I mean, we're given the volume, but to calculate the volume, we would multiply this times this times this, right? And to calculate area, you would multiply this times this, and the area is given. We know the floor area is 12 square meters. So this times this is 12. We already know that. So therefore, the question is basically, 12 times that is 30. We will get 12 square meters here times something, which is the height, equals 30 cubic meters, the volume. Okay? And to solve this, you can again use guess and check. Let me guess 12 times 2, 24. That won't work. 12 times 3, 36. That's too much. But 30, my answer is exactly midway between 24 and 36, right? 24 didn't work, 36 didn't work, but 30 is exactly in the middle of 24 and 36. So it cannot be 2 here, cannot be 3 here, but it's exactly halfway between 2 and 3, or 2 and a half, right? Another way to solve this is by using division, because it is a multiplication problem where it is missing a factor. And so I can use the opposite operation, division, to solve it. And I will divide this by this. 30 divided by 12. But let me write the division using the fraction line, because now we can use what we know about fractions. We can write this as a mixed number first. 30 twelfths would make two wholes. And then 6 twelfths, right? And 6 twelfths is exactly one half. Two and a half. And this is in meters. The answer is in meters.